Hey everyone, this is your man Dylan here. So today we're gonna go over the oxidase test, which is a, still a key uh, biochemical test that we use nowadays in the microbiology lab. Uh, so you're definitely gonna wanna know it. So let's get right into it. So the oxidase test, uh, it's gonna be uh, positive or negative is the test result you're gonna be looking for. Uh, a positive test means it turns, uh, turns a deep purple color. And you're gonna to wanna to see that within uh, about 30 seconds is a strong, strong positive. 10 seconds for sure within is a strong positive. Uh, 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds would be a weak positive, and then after 60 seconds is your cutoff point for a definitive negative oxidase test if there's no color change. Um, so some of the things to keep in mind: um, you're gonna to want to take an isolated colony of a, a fresh, a fresh pure colony. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. If it's older or younger, you're gonna get uh, discrepant results. And obviously if it's mixed, you're definitely gonna get discrepant results. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna wanna pick that up on your swab, the isolate, isolate colony, add your oxidase reagent dropper to it, just do one drop, and then you're gonna see that purple change, which I referenced before. So look out for that. And if it's oxidase positive, you're looking at, it pretty much rules out the enteric bacteria or your enterobacteriales. Uh, with the exception of Plesiomonas. Um, so if you have positive tests, you know you're not dealing with those bugs, you're dealing with, for example, Pseudomonas, Haemophilus, Neisseria, or Plesiomonas. Uh, so that's why it's still used in the lab. Another reason why it's used is uh, just a bench call. So instead of, instead of sending your organism to the uh, moldy top or identification system, you can just look at it, what it looks like on a plate, do that oxidase test, and if it's positive, then you can uh, identify, identify it as pseudomonas. At least that's what we do in our lab here. Um, so that's really easy to spot. And I'll show you a picture of that. You're gonna have that characteristic color on the plate, it has a particular smell too, it has the beta hemolysis on the blood plate, and uh, the oxidase test is a confirmatory test. So yeah, um, just keep that in mind, and I uh, hope you know more now about the oxidase test. Thanks for watching.